Hi guys. So this is the koi fish video. I'll be doing this side of the mask. Uh, I've already masked it all up um, to avoid overspray so I can work easily in this area. And I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I start off getting my shapes. And I do this quite a lot. I just create a paper stencil and get the shapes that way. Again, same technique. Then I go on to doing my scales. Uh, I've got a video on this, so if you haven't watched that uh, and you would like to, then t check that out. Um, you do know I use uh, just normal acrylic paints to practice. This is a practice piece. It's my welding helmet, so um, and you get pretty good results. They are harder to thin, uh, but it's a bit a hit and miss, and I uh, I normally do all right with them. Um, now I'm just using a freehand shield. Uh, it's actually a true fire stencil. Um, you don't need to buy these. I made this one. You can either draw some shapes out and cut it out or you can google uh, true fire stencils and just print them out and laminate them like I did. So I keep working it and getting my shapes. Uh, these stencils do come in very handy. Um, to really it's a, just a shield you use to mask things instead of cutting out shapes all the time. Um, I do uh, mask every, the, the, the background uh, out quite a lot uh, to avoid overspray. And before I do that I normally give it a coat of clear uh, it helps tremendously uh, avoiding paint lift uh, etc obviously you will have to give it a few days and sand it down um, then I just keep working my shades um, and shadows now <clears throat> obviously for this uh, you do need transparent paint uh, to keep layering them in. Um, most of these craft paints will be transparent after reduced anyway, uh, some more than others. You will have to experiment as well with these paints because some are ground thicker than others and uh, you'll have a harder time getting them to flow properly. But overall um, I find them pretty easy to to use. Now here again, uh, I cut out the shape of the eye with uh, just on a on a piece of paper, um, and then I l layer in the colours. Here I'm just using a blade for the eye, and I do that quite a lot as well. Just use anything you have to find the shape you want, and um, and it works out great little more freehand in there uh, to get some little bit of detail I didn't really go mad on there now this is why it's also important to clear um, in between stages uh, you can use mid coat clear uh, that actually works out better um, if you get any overspray you can get rid of it easily um, if you make a mistake you can just uh, pretty much wipe it off so I like doing that um, and also uh, when practicing you know you don't have to practice on a piece of paper you can do these pieces like I like doing now here I'm just getting my lines and um, that's something someone asked about as well some how do I get uh, the clean lines with cheap masking tape and there's no real secret it's just don't flood fill the area 
uh, the more paint you put on there the more paint creep you'll get here I'm just uh, giving it a coat of clear and check out the final result okay guys so I just gave it a coat of clear that's pretty much the welding helmet done I might give it a few more coats of clear in a week or so I'll let this dry off sand it a little bit just to get it a little bit smoother but that's pretty much what it's going to look like tell me what you guys think I hope you enjoyed the series and I will catch you guys soon thanks for watching